Welcome back everyone, I'm Bill Jadopoulos, the host of the Amfish Fishing Vlog Series. This video, um, I'm not even sure how to describe it, uh, it's something that I've come uh, trying to get a little bit outside of the box with my videos on um, topics, things that I think everyone out there may want to see or learn about. Uh, and this specific one is about um, silent baits. Um, and you may scratch your head and go, silent baits? I mean, you know, I don't know what a silent bait is. Everything I see out there has rattles in it, uh, it makes a lot of noise. Over the years, a lot of baits uh, and manufacturers have put rattles in almost everything. Um, I've got one here that I want to show you that doesn't have rattles in it. You can still find some. It's a Rapala deep diving crank, and that noise you hear right there is just the hook shaking around. There are no rattles in that bait at all. Uh, baits with rattles are loud. You can hear them, you know, three, four feet away from the boat, sometimes under the water. Um, but you can find, uh, again, Rapala makes uh, some shallower running crankbaits like this, uh, chunkier style. Other manufacturers make them as well. Um, but there's an advantage to having some of these in your tackle box. I've got a few from uh, that are older baits, uh, such as this one here. And I was fortunate enough to uh, still have them in good working condition. I may have swapped out some hooks over the years. But um, the purpose of having some silent baits, again, we're all used to, uh, whether it's a shallow crank or a lipless crank or a deep diving crank, it's just loud. You grab it in the package, you shake it, and it's like a bunch of bearings just banging against one another. And they're great. Uh, you will produce fish on baits like that. But there's also the times where sometimes you may want to go in a little sneaky uh, and something more silent, you know, as an example, this would normally be a twitch bait for me. So I will uh, see if I can do this with my rod. I'll just twitch it, twitch it, twitch it along, and it's not going to make any noise. Um, a hollow body, like there's not anything, the hooks aren't going to be banging against it. Um, it give off a little vibration with a diving lip, and it'll shake, you know, side to side like this as it's being retrieved or jerked around. Uh, but it's not making all that banging noise uh, that something with a bunch of bearings in it would. Again, like a rattle trap or something, you grab it and you're shaking it and it's like you've got a can with a bunch of pennies in it. Um, but you can still find some on the market and I, I'd highly recommend for some of you getting some of those baits that I classify as the silent baits. Um, there's a really good chance Again, you're going to want to come in in a sneaky area and you don't want to cause a lot of noise. Uh, maybe you fish that uh, shallow crank with a lot of bearings in it and uh, you know, it's just clanking away underneath the water and the, you, know, you might get a few follows and nothing really hits it. And then all of a sudden you pull out something silent. Uh, again, let me, if I cut the lip there, now it's a little shallow running bait. Cast that out, just work it right underneath the water in that specific area and now it's silent. All it is is basically movement uh, with very little vibration and very little sound. Uh, sometimes again that will be there'll be applications for that. And if you don't have any you can't take uh, the rattles out of any of the baits if you have them. Um, but if you have a few of these uh, again whether it's a shallow crank or not um, it's fantastic. It's, it's, it's a nice little old way of uh, sneaking up on fish and catching some of the fish that maybe that uh, that loud crankbait's just not going to pull in for you. Um, but if you don't have any, again, you can probably find some of them uh, still on the market. Just read the packages. Uh, you know, some of them are called S. You'll see something that's called like an X wrap or rattle rattle trap or something like that. You know, those are going to be making a lot of noise. Um, look for the other version of it where it may be, uh, you know, a shallow diver and no rattles. It's going to be hard. Uh, again, you will want to check. There are a few, um, but many manufacturers have all gone to making a lot of the rattle traps with a lot of noise in them. Um, and they work, uh, you know, they give off a lot of noise, but there's gonna be times sometimes when you wanna get out there and come out as I call it, you know, the silent fisherman and just present the bait that has the action of the bait fish in the water, that is the right size and is quiet, dead quiet. Little vibration coming off just cause you're, you know, whether you're trolling it or you're casting it, retrieving it slowly or twitching it, but it's virtually silent compared to what, um, a noisy bait would be, uh, you're not going to hear it coming back. You know, you know, you bring it back, it'll be 10 feet away from the boat, you won't hear that 
being at home. Uh, and again, some of the baits are so loud. Uh, you, know, you cast them out and you're 10 feet away from the boat and you're hearing that's the bait coming back. We're all used to hearing that. So when I talk about the silent fishermen, uh, again, I may have stumped some of you out there, have a few of those baits. You don't need to have a ton of them. Have a few of them, maybe a shallow, uh, shallow diving crank, uh, a longer, leaner, shallow diving crank, a chunkier one, and a deep diver or something like that. But if you have them, you can pull them out sometimes and it can be that make or break all of a sudden it's a difference. You know, fishing that shoreline, I'm using the, the noisy one and you're the boat behind me and you're using the quiet one and all of a sudden it starts to work for you. Um, but uh, again, I just wanted to do a, some, some of the videos where I'm coming outside of the normal box and talking about my experiences and some of the um, of things that I've learned over the years. But I've learned if you don't have something, uh, you can't use it. Uh, so again, you may want to just kind of look at what you have. And if you don't have all the baits that you have, you know, so you've got 20, 30 baits in your tackle box and they're all noisy, cranky ones, uh, you may want to get at least one or two silent ones just to have them for that different application. So I hope you found the video helpful, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.